Central Management Console, or CMC User Group Administration. When you click on the User Group icon on the left-hand panel, or you select the User Group from the drop-down, this panel will open. Here, you can manage your users and groups and what authentication each user or group have. If you click on the user list, it gives you the list of how many users are in the business object system. If you select a user, right click and go to the properties, it will show you the user account name, full name, email, if it's on account, you can change the password here. You can disable or enable the user from here. User security is basically who have access to change the user property. Member of tells you what group the users belong to. We can also set profile for a user and set up an account manager if we want to for the user. Now, how to set up a new user? When you click on the user list, you see all these icons on top of the toolbar. The first one is to create a new user. The second one is to create a new group and the rest of our other kind of properties. So let's do new user. When you click on the new user, it, it's gonna ask for account name. Let's say test. Test. So that's the email address. You can provide a description to the user and we can provide a password to the user, which we can say that um, the user must change the password at, at next logon or we can also say that the password never expires. If, if we're creating any application ID, it's recommended that we say that the password never expires. We can say, depending on your licensing, uh, if the user is concurrent or the named user. I'm gonna create this as a concurrent user. There are two options. I, either I can create the user um, and it will pop up this screen again to create more, uh, more users, or I can say create and close. I'm gonna hit create to show. A user with account name test already exists, so it's giving me an error showing that I have to change the name of the, of the account. So I'm gonna say test one, two, three, see what happens. Okay, so my user is created and it brought back that same window again if I want to create more users. I'm gonna cancel out from here, and now I can go in the search bar and search for user test123. And here's the new user I created. I can right click on it. There are, there are multiple options here as well, but if you go on under the properties, you will see all these options over there. So un under the properties, it's showing me it, it's a concurrent user as we created, the user um, is new, I can tell because the user never changed the password. If a user changed the password, this box will be unchecked. User security tells me again uh, who have access to make changes to this user. Member of, here I can assign a user a role or a group which will define what kind of access does the user have. So I'm gonna hit this join group and it will bring up the list of all the groups which we have in the system. So we have all these groups. I'm gonna say he's a delivery user, click on the right arrow, brings it over to, uh, to the destination group, hit okay, and there. Now my user belongs to the delivery user's role or group. So whatever access does this group have, now my user have that access as well. After adding all this, I can cross out from here and my user is ready to use um, the business objects enterprise. Okay, so let's go back to the properties. If my user have 
uh, have left the company or I want to disable the user it's as easy as just click on this account disable hit save and the user is now disabled you can hit save and close to get out of that window and it'll bring it back uh, to the user group panel you can also delete a user by right clicking and say delete and this will get rid of the user so if I go back in the user list now and search for test I'm not gonna find this test one two three user 